It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. It's day number seven of the Lexington Bourbon Society Advent Calendar. And on day seven, we have... James E. Pepper, 1776 Rye. Rye. It's, it's gonna be a rye night. A rye night. It's rye night. That's right. Um, so what, uh, what can you tell us about this guy? I can tell you that it is 100 proof. Um, it is aged two, over two years. Um, it's the mash bill has 90% plus rye, so it's gonna be spicy. Um, we typically don't lean towards the the higher rye mash bills, but but we're know, coming around. We're to coming it. around. I mean, it's definitely a um, it's a culture taste. shock. Yeah, when when you're coming off of you know sweet bourbons, yeah, yeah, sweet bourbons, any type of you know high rye. We love high rye. I but, do, but when you really turn it up to where up. it's, you know, it has to be at least 51%, right? In this case, over 90, it's mm -hmm. it's a different ball game. That's right. So it is a little bit of a culture shock, but we've been, since we did our rye flight fight and so forth. We've we, warmed up. We, we have warmed up to it. And it's been a minute since we've done this. It so has. I'm looking so, forward to it. Uh, James E. Pepper is actually in Lexington. The original distillery was here and they reopened it, revamped and reopened it uh, mm -hmm. last year, or earlier this year, yeah. earlier in 2018. Mm -hmm. um, but they are currently distilling. Um, but it's my understanding that their stuff at this moment is sourced from MGP. Right. So. Yeah, so give them a little bit and then it'll be their own stuff. That's right. So that's cool. All right. So spicy. Yep, it's 90 plus yes. <laughs> on the rye mash bill for sure. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned this is not chill filtered. Non chill filtered, yeah. okay. Hmm, all right. So spicy. Yeah, I mean. It's almost like in the realm of a candle. Yes, it, it is. Uh, has some perfume, spice obviously, rye yeah. spice, holiday spice. Yeah. Again, this, oh, this reminds me of the Men Winter's Nights. Graham, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Here we go. I do like this better than the last time we had it. For sure. Last time we had it, I was like, I mean, not to be hating on them, but I was just like, I don't think that's for me. Right. Um, but then I tried some of their other, we've had some of their other things, and I had it at the distillery, and I liked it a lot. This I'm coming around to much more. Man. It is hot, though. It's hot. I mean, for 100 proof, that's very hot for us. I think that, you know, spice just really adds to the depth also, of heat. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and the youth isn't helping it in that department. But it's not hurting as much as I thought. It no. would, I think rice, you can get away with younger. Than... Right, they say rice mature faster. Um, I guess they're like girls. Spicy, sassy. <laughs> and mature, mature faster. faster, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, I'm with you. I definitely have much more of an appreciation for this than the first time we tried it. I um, agree. Let's see what's going on in the second taste there. Oh, whoops, third for me. <laughs> It quiets down pretty quick now, I feel like. I've, we've had their barrel proof rye too, which is like to the limits of what I can <laughs> withstand taste wise. Yeah. It's just so hot. <clears throat> I do feel like though I'm walking through a candle store and eating potpourri. Yeah. <laughs> that you're not like, supposed to. Yeah, like flowers and stuff. Like, sir, and... that's for display. <laughs> that's not edible. Look at that so. scene in Elf when they're like, fruit spray? <laughs> and he's like, oh, yes. <laughs> 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 Or the cotton balls. Oh, gulag. He eats a lot of stuff he's not supposed he to. He does. Do. He's not, not supposed to do that. Um, but yeah, no, the second time around, it's, you know, ugh. the first is always going to be kind of that tongue shock. And mm -hmm. then the second, you're actually going to be able to, to discern what's going on. Yeah. But with this rye, it's, it's fairly simple. Maybe even kind of one note. But this retails for what? Around 20, 25 bucks. 25 bucks? Yeah. So, you know, that's that's to be expected. It's mm -hmm. it's young, it's lower priced. Pretty solid. If higher rye ryes are your thing, I think older ones like Whistle Pig, around the 10 year mark, um, are a lot more expensive, but- It's true. To, you know, ha have a, a, a much more mature taste, obviously. Yeah. And if you're not into the high rye ryes, we, Suggest Pikesville Rye suggest always, Pikesville Rye. or it's little brother Rittenhouse. Mm -hmm. If that proof is just a little bit too much for you, if you want to yeah. go down to hundred like this one, uh, Rittenhouse. Or if you can find a baby size. Which would be around the same price as this. That's right. Also, yeah. so uh, between the two, I would definitely go Rittenhouse. If you're not sure just how you saying. feel about the rise. Yeah. 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 Overall, I think like it's good, and I'm glad that we have this. We have a bottle. Um, I like the bottle design. Every time I hold it, I feel like I'm a pirate. <laughs> About to just drink right out of the bottle on a ship or something. Arr. I don't know. It's it's pretty cool. And I, I love that they're based in Lexington. Their d distillery is amazing. Um, but it, 
on the shelf, like this isn't gonna be something that I reach for regularly. It's just not my profile. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, it's warmed me up though, so yes. on a really cold night, I could definitely... For sure. If and I had to sit out in the snow for a while, I'd probably drink this. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and it's Friday. Friday. It's Friday, that's Friday. right. Friday. Hmm. Well, I would say, you know, maybe give this a try at a bar before yeah. you buy a bottle. Especially if you don't know your feelings on higher rye mm -hmm. rise. Um, if you do and you like it, then this might be a good try because you might find a good value. That's right. That uh, you can latch latch in on. Yep. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Well, what is uh, going on tomorrow? Tomorrow we have Old Forester 1870. Old Forester 1870, and we just had an Old Forester yesterday. We did. So <laughs> we got this sandwich between Old Foresters. Yeah. All right. Well, look forward to that. That will do it for us. Uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button already and you like what we're bringing to the table, please go ahead and do that. It helps out the channel a lot. You can also now find our official apparel at whiskeyambitions.com. That's t-shirts and glasses and lots more coming soon, so please check that out. Mm -hmm. You can become a, pa a patron. I always want to say a Patreon. A Patreon. You can become a patron on patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and for as little as one buck a month. You can get involved in the conversation and be a part of our community. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find some of the glassware, like the sample bottles, other little things that the knacks and stuff that we have around uh, use on the show on our Amazon influencer page. It's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. And you can follow us on all the social media channels at it's bourbon night. There we go. All right. Well, <clears throat> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Drink more bourbon. Oh, it's another person. It's all you. These are not the Legos you're looking for. He's an angry stormtrooper. It's a stormtrooper without a gun, but they can never hit anything anyway. Oh, hi, Zoe. Oh, hi, Zoe. <laughs> <laughs>